Bulletproof by you, different point of. There are infinite fractals of the same thread in this universe that can be followed where it all comes down to one bullet, one child, one world, one responsibility with only one choice, truth, because the lies are killing us. However, that's not the craziest part. It's how simple it is to pull the plug on this whole insane matrix. But you won't believe me at first. It takes a little patience and effort to take any ship that has had a frozen helm from rust due to lack of use to even start to turn the rudders from the ruts of fully programmed realities of this matrix illusion. Inasmuch as we are being tested, so are those that seemingly test us every day. Only those that stand in truth are worthy of this test and why, you've, why you have this role here and now. It is not you who are being tested, really. But rather those that live in the world of lies to offer them a choice based on their actions and reactions. A liar is a liar until they are confronted to separate those that don't know their living lies and those that do know. The true separation of the wheat and chaff is at hand and we are the allegorical grim reapers performing this most critical role as the walkers between worlds. Again, I remind you that those that lie, cheat, and steal hmm, will lie, cheat, and steal as that is all I expect from people like that. So ask yourself why you somehow expect different. Only truth can out a liar. And if you're not standing in the truth that you know to be true, you will bear the golden rule gift in the mirror. It is we, the tested, that now become the only test to pass. And liars don't get a pass with me. Yes, the simplicity of the legal name use and the literal soul trap it is, is absolutely profound, but then again, the simple truth always was and will be just that, profound. The grim reaper is indeed the one to fear, and we are that reaper that separates the wheat from the chaff, the liars from truth everywhere your scythe cuts forth. The wielder of the scythe can only truly harvest standing on the rock of truth, every one you find. Those I call aha moments the very thing that builds your Jacob's Ladder spiritually and your DNA strand or ladder physically. This is the path to immortality. Phonics reveals this simple truth again where the Grim Reaper translates sonically into the Christ state of mind, ki ro, I'm, I am, through the spirit breath of consciousness, duality heals, repay, repair. Only a wielder of truth can have the strength to use the scythes, let alone pick it up in the first place. It is not you that is being tested, really. It is the one that harms and lies that is. By their own actions, they are known, and I fully accept this. And in that observation, the one that lies is being tested in the eyes of all creation itself to see what they will choose. All we have here is a lifetime to figure that out or not. Do not fret with those that wish to harm and continue to do that in that they are harming the children of creation itself, where we all have a choice to be that child or its murderer. We have one bullet now that connects all of consciousness, both spiritually and physically, and the connector is the legal name. The separator of living and dead reality, living an illusion of life, is the walking dead. Every choice you make affects all of consciousness because you are the hub of your creational fractal, plain and simple. By connecting to any one or any single choice goes fractal and connects to everything else in creation where the illusion of levels of separation now becomes only one level, the plane of liars and those that wield truth. This is mainly achieved through enforcing ignorance in the guise of wisdom and lies in the form of false truths that is dependent on this very ignorance of humanity. It's as simple as rewriting history to your taste and selling that version of it. This is called school, be it private, public, or Sunday versions from kindergarten to a tenured professor. The good news is it doesn't take a professor to see the connections where only a preschooler can see it best through show and tell. 
In the same way a family tree works, anyone on this planet can be connected to anyone on this planet, from a palace to the jungle, based on everyone around you that knows someone who knows someone who knows someone, etc. In the Pi Fractal tradition. That's the easy part to accept. What will be hard for people, though, is being connected to the one bullet that killed the one child that all all of humanity is guilty of. And it is all achieved so easily through one deception called the legal name trick. For those not familiar with what I do and write, it may be best at this point to read other essays on this trick slash subject to get a more complete overview of what's really going on with this ruse of ruses. It's a rather large red pill to try and swallow in one dose. It is the red pill, actually. Let's first look at the bullet. What and who goes into making it? It's typically made of lead and brass with some chemicals as the accelerant, all of which must all come together at the same time to make this possible, to create the finished bullet. A bullet has only one true intention, and that is to kill people and animals, where target shooting is merely practice for this intent. Bullets weren't created for paper bullseyes or shooting bottles. That's just an offshoot of the original intent. Let's now look at the child. What and who goes into the creation of a child? Nature has that intent built in, and it's called life and the fulfillment of natural law and order. Regardless of what we do to interfere with this, where this urge of ebb and flow is infinite, Children can be brought into being through the vilest of rapes and the most passionate of truly loving parents equally. Such is the natural intent of creation built in to the human design and all other forms of life infinitely. Some children grew up to be farmers, miners, lumberjacks, bankers, soldiers, cooks, painters, shipbuilders, etc. And all of which are part and parcel to make the single bullet come into its final form and existence with a single intent to kill humans, its creator. The lead must be mined as well as the other metals and materials that not only go into the making of the actual bullet, but also in the manufacturing of the machines to make it possible. All of the equipment to deliver the materials, like cars, trucks, aircraft, ships, are also involved as well, as all of the people involved in their day-to-day jobs unwittingly involved in this one bullet, and everyone connects. The bankers complete the ruse, creating money via the legal name fraud that makes any and all of this possible, where people buy into the illusion, imaginary money, value. But the truth is, the money is created with their souls, literally. No birth certificate bonds to trade, no money created at the human source level. Fact. These tentacles traverse the world, connecting everyone as an accomplice to this crime of one bullet, one child. And all are guilty through the continued worship of the legal name that lets the inmates continue to run their war and death asylum from the illusional safety of their ivory towers. All they need is for humanity to stay asleep with the legal name contracts in place where they have the run of the money, souls, and literally life and death. They pass the illusion of money off to build the factories for bullet manufacturing, so have a look at how many people are involved in the making of every material for the factory itself, let alone those that put those materials together that also come from other factories creating machines, presses, advertising, financial institutions, schools, etc., where the lists go on and on. You need steel to make the presses, and that has to be mined and refined. You need specialized tools with specialized materials to make the dies, to make the machines, to make this bullets. The people involved need to be fed as well, be it in the factory cafeteria or a local burger joint, to keep them going for the next part of the shift. So that involves all of the food suppliers planet-wide as well, from farmer to mouth. The combine harvesters and tractors require building as well as designing on drafting tables, and who makes those? The materials need to be shipped in from all points across the globe, either by ship, airplane, truck, or barge. And everyone involved in making those things is party to the crime. As much as the guy or girl that pulled the trigger, sending that single 7.62 NATO bullet through the face of that nine-year-old little girl in Libya. And that required the involvement of every country and every treaty ever written in history in that moment of murder intended murder. Intent to kill is the same thing to me as murder, where intent to do any harm 
to another is also exactly the same to me. Don't forget the coal miners and the gas drillers that make firing up the furnace as possible, and the forest industry for the paper for the orders and the timber for countless frames, crates, and toothpicks in the cafeteria. By now, the fractals are expanding in your mind, and before long, you too will see your role in this bullet, with the only important one being your use of the legal name that makes the whole commerce and legal bullshit world possible at all. No legal names, no murder games, period. All the supposed shareholders and parasitic investors of the banks and companies are most connected by driving this whore of Babylon commerce reality onward to humanity's slaughter by pursuing their false idol of money, which is the purest form of parasitic theft, in that the money is all created off the souls of stolen children who grew up to be unwitting adults feeding on themselves and their own children as well. This is all so easy to prove and see now for anyone with the stomach for truth and the true desire to end this mayhem of lunatic worship. Anything that keeps anyone alive and dead in this illusion of guilt distraction to do the deed of making this bullet possible, including the checkout clerk at the grocery store, gas station, the news commentators and cinema owners and so on, to give the respite and distraction to keep people's minds asleep enough to never see this. Oh, and comfortable enough to keep them happy and delusional in their own little worlds. There is no justification of one dead child with this bullet. Oh, but my, oh my, you have tried to convince yourself of your non-responsibility, not only in this, but in the vast majority of your life, sown and filled with lies so hard not to believe. This is what truth is so distasteful, because it makes you aware of the true responsibility. Guess what? It all stems from the legal name slavery, and like I said, that's the real crazy part. The one thing you were taught to believe was you and belonged to you, never was you and never belonged to you, and how we love the sound of our owned names, eh? The how and why of this fact are shown in excruciating detail in my essay, so if you still can't get that, you have some other reading to do. So the programmed assumptions, presumptions right now, because that will be the program of Stockholm Syndrome running. All those essays are on my site as well and do require serious calm and introspection to calm your finely tuned dragon ego trained by another. How else do you think anyone can be programmed to build a bullet in the first place, knowing it will kill anyone that gets in its path? Remember, bullets are indiscriminate killers that can't see names, legal or otherwise. Ah, but you can. While it may be easy for some to simply fluff this off as a subjective opinion, I simply see the objectionable, objectionable facts and truth is truly objectionable to the ones that love their killing fields. Kings, queens, politicians, generals, and admirals are all involved intimately in not only this bullet, but every bullet ever created with the sole purpose of transmitting death over a longer distance, where a sniper is the cruelest murderer and coward of all, yet get hero worship for their mark, man, ship, no? Who trained him or her, and who built the guns that delivered death in a bark of fire? Who was involved in all of that from muzzle to forehead? Who grew the food that feeds them and who takes out the trash to keep this table of slaughter open? Not one of humanity can escape and they are intricately and intimately connected to everyone and everything that took that single child. How many children have met this fate at your hands? There is but one thing that allows any and all of this to happen and it is rolled into one contract... All who use, claim to use, be, think, or have any connections whatsoever to the crown-created legal names that literally rule this world through your fucking ignorance of this. Please offer your excuses while I only offer you back your mirror of lies and ignorance until you too come to terms with this trap and finally let the whore of Babylon rot in her grave with her own dead legal name babies with her. It is you, the legal name worshipper, with your mark of their beast that makes all of this entirely possible. 
and only possible as a result of your willful or simple ignorance of this truth of truths. You protest your banking parasite masters one day and cash your checks the next, like any good little hypocritical robot slave will do, yet continue because you know no other way, as per your programming. Only the truth and willful choice to not be any part of this is your salvation, not some robed fucking monkey on a Friday, Saturday, or Sunday, spewing everything but spirituality. They preach the continuation of the master outside of self, regardless of religious sociopathic flavors, making people believe that someone or something outside of themselves is coming to save them from evil and thus remove responsibility by providing the illusion of some gimme-gimme absolution from a stranger. People think some invisible friend they've been sold to believe in will save them, and people think I'm fucking crazy. These religious psychos that spew and absorb this shite, robed and robe, Klingons alike, are always there promoting the bullet and absolution illusion on the battlefields of pure, unadulterated, wholesale murder that somehow makes them okay with that? I see monsters, not ministers, murderers, not humans, so easily, because human nature was never about killing anything, but rather to work in tandem with all creation, where all is provided accordingly. No, they took their guns and bulldozers to this Garden of Eden and turned the mothers into murderers as well. Nothing more evil than a woman with a gun defying the very nature of life creation itself. The true abominable monsters in flesh manifest. A woman in a uniform is beyond psychotic, and one with a gun leaves me both speechless and devoid of life. Finally having the eyes to see all the connections that we are all guilty of whether you believe that or not. Truth does not require any form of belief. Both fortunate and unfortunate at the same time, though, all I had to do was one thing we all need to do, and that is to accept responsibility of our own choices, our own lives, and have enough heart to put an end to our part in this. You can argue and debate this all day long as much as you like, but here's the catch. The truth is sitting here waiting for you as it did for me. The only choice I had left was not a choice at all. And that was to be a liar and provide the bullet or stand in truth and stand in front of that bullet meant for that child. Me, I'm fucking bulletproof because of the truth and only because of the truth. But again, you won't believe me at first. But then you have to decide what you're going to live with. Being the enabler of the bullet or the shield that makes sure the bullet is never fired, let alone created. Easy choice, really. So easy it'll make or break your fucking heart, if you even have one. That was all I had to see to say enough of this legal name slavery control matrix and take myself fully out of Babylon and be in her enough to consume her from the inside out. Yes, I went through my trials and tribulations, just like everyone else who makes the same call on this, as I did. But what you'll never experience is the true magic of creation until you do. And that, too, is something else you will not believe either, at first. The masters of religious poison, commerce, soul contracts, and its armory of spitting bullet death is in the one crown of the Vatican, City of London State, and Washington, D.C., and only the truly fucking stupid, ignorant, or purely evil will refuse to see this and wear this triple crown of the dead proudly as a peacock. Dare to not be a legal name and see what happens. You will find yourself literally surrounded by numerous armed thugs, the front-line soul dogs for the Dark Masters. No, the vast majority of these fetchers are unaware of the gravity of this, but there are those that do, and they know who they are, and can be found in the command and control centers easily. They generally run the fastest when confronted. And confronted I have as, ma as well as countless others. There is no escape from this guilt of this bullet where you are a mark and a beast for this triple-crowned horror. That choice is ultimately yours, and yours alone, where you have to put your faith where it really belongs, and that is with creation itself. Creation is truth, and truth is creation, so if one stands and lies, one stands in defiance of creation itself, which is simply a Luciferian mindset, which has you playing for which team? 
No, you can challenge us all you want, but that'll be your whiny ego, so pro- programmed to grovel at the feet of another that keeps you denying and debating your role in this bullet and your own delusional bullshit. Destroy yourself and humanity as you choose, but that is not a choice I'll make, having been part of this lie myself and changed my liar's course to one of irresistible truth. You? Hmm. It only takes one thread to connect it all, and that thread is your legal name contract that allows the masters to create the fictional currency to make sure they have the money to keep you enslaved. Unfortunately, for those that worship the whore, all that you have stolen, harmed, raped, and murdered belong fully to you now, where all things stolen from me can never be returned to me, rendering you unable to settle your accounts this lifetime and cash out to be able to return. This is one debt you owe to all of consciousness now, where your physical zero point to manifest a spiritual mirror of it will never be zeroed in your lifetimes now. So when you're gone, you're gone forever, and your mummy pharaohs return to the dust they are. To you, the wealthiest tricksters, just know this, and know you are finally doomed along with your worshippers. You can take your legal name uniforms, robes, suits, aprons, work boots, gloves, hairnets, guns, and false glamour to oblivion with you, because they all worship the legal name, making you owned by another, or thinking you are some delusional master of humanity while consuming its very soul. But now you can never clean your tables or balance your columns to a fictitious zero point in your death ledgers, because there remains a debt for eternity that must be paid, and the piper has started playing while the fat lady sings your doom. Alas, you still have a choice to save your own soul, but you must make that choice of self, for self, of humanity, for humanity, and stand there, and only there. Wrestle with your hearts and minds as you will, but the truth of this bullet in one child belongs to all of humanity equally, first by doing nothing, and second by being involved somewhere along that one continuous thread we are all connected to and with. You will scream in defiance internally and externally as I and others who made it beyond this soul trap have, but that will never change the self-evident truth of the one lie that is killing us all, save those of us that have destroyed the mark of their beast in all ways and stand in no surrender and full surrender at the same time while being berated by those we love the most. Unconditional love has that effect. It is not important that you love me. It is only important that I am strong enough to love you while sharing this truth turns your false world of idols upside down and backwards. Best to experience the spiritual pole shift versus the physical one they love to sell you on and build their silly little bunkers thinking that will save them from their true debts. No one can get home with shit in their ledgers where your heart must be weightless to escape all gravities of this reality and every other. All the currency created with the birth certificate soul contract parasited to me and many others is now non-returnable and non-refundable. Caveat emptor, eh? That currency flows through all of manifest creation, attached to something or another where it is fully returned to its right fool creator. All your strings attached, Pinocchio. Only truth has the power to cut those bindings and it is freely available to all to choose in and of your free will choice as only that choice can and must be finally yours, as creation always promised. For those that know and continue to defy creation will now no longer be part of creation. But you will have the opportunity to ponder this as you travel back to amoeba form in full conscious awareness to think on your choices more clearly. Those that worship and sell death are become as death itself, and the grim reapers are here, scythes glistening and harvesting as I type. If but one shall awaken, has always been your Achilles heel to keep the ruse in perpetual delusion where the one has awoken and is here and now honing and sharpening all the size that will cut the wheat from the chaff that you are, rendered a part of the physical effect world you lust to control in defiance of natural order and chaos. No, you, the legal name slaves, are all guilty of the one bullet, one child, one world, one responsibility of truth that you deny from such a simple trick and sleight of hand deception and will be on that ledger of the book of their dead until you begin your book of life. 
truth and creation journey. For those that are still asking, it can't be that simple. I assure you it is, as crazy as it might sound. But one, one only has to remember one thing. A legal name is in the realm of the dead, paper fiction world. And it is that that will keep you dead literally and spiritually while you agree to be that in full or full contract. With that, where your contract begins and ends with but a thought. It depends on what mind you're using, the programmed for you one in your head or the one that is of creation itself in the heart mind to do only what you feel to be right versus what justifier to make you think it's right. At the end of the day, we all get to seal our own fates or let a dead crown seal seal it for you. This is the contract with the devil itself and you are at the crossroads where your choice now matters for all eternity and whether you are part of it or banished forever from it. Your choice. Your seal of approval is required or creation stamps you with reject in the mirror of you rejecting creation. Run all you wish, but the truth is inescapable and no robes or excuses will fly in the all-knowing and all-seeing eye of creation. And I will also assure I can see you. Your actions give you away every time. So carry on, <clears throat> excuse me, so carry on as you are and make the real effort to fill the magazines with bullets and lies. Since you're already guilty, you might as well pull the fucking trigger yourself. Because in all truth, if you are the legal name, you already have and that murdered child is on your consciousness now, not mine. My only task is to let you know. Hell, since you love bullets so much, go ahead and shoot the messengers too, where now they bounce back 180 degrees into your forehead. Remember, I stand in front of every man, woman, and child you're aiming to kill, where truth and the heart of all creation has made me bulletproof and bouncy. My only wish is that you choose there, <coughs> sorry, if you, you choose there to stand with me and countless others for humanities and the children's sake. If you can't do that, then at least we both know who you are now, not just me and consciousness. Child killer or not. Much love, Kate.